Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Tandor on Run Tippy. So, a little bit about this series and going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. It's an application for managing recipes, planning meals, building shopping lists, and much more. It's called Tandor. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see some screenshots of it. And here's some core features, manage recipes, plan, shopping list, cookbooks, and then share and collaborate. Uh, these are some more features. So that's what we will be installing today. So now I'm going to be going over the files in Run Tippy App Store. So I'm going to go to search and type Tandor. Now I'm going to go to the folder. So the metadata is the description for the App Store, the logo, and then config.json, so, so the name, the port that it'll be listening on, uh, available, exposable, the ID, the tippy version, the version, and then the categories, description, short description, the author, and then source, website, form fields, so so you can in, in, in input a secret key, and, and uh, a you can uh, in, import a, po a Postgres a password if you want to. And the supported architecture is the Docker image. And that rhymes with the Docker image over here. So, version 3.7 of Docker and Post file formats being used. I'm going to set some services. And the first service underneath the services is called Tandor. The container name is going to be called Tan uh, Tandor. And this makes it so Docker doesn't have generated a random name. The image is coming off of GitHub because this ghcr.io right here. This is the re registry. And then the Docker image, and then the Docker image tag. Volumes right here. So the app data directory, data, static files. This is on the host side, and then the right side is on the container side. And so, uh, same with this one as well. Left is the host, right is the container. P ports right here. So, so, so the app port is the port in config.json right here. And... um. Then on the container side is 8080. Uh, environment variables, so the secret key, the uh, a DB engine, which is Postgres QL, um, Postgres host, Postgres port, and then the Postgres user, the Postgres password, and then the Postgres DB. The Tandor secret key co uh, comes from over here, and the Tandor Postgres password comes from this one, so the env a variable. Um, the networks is Tippy main network. A restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then the health check, um, are the, are the labels for the traffic main web, web secure, local domain, and local domain secure. Uh, uh, this service up here does depend on the Tandor DB service down here. And the condition service is he he healthy. So the Tandor D DB service right here, this is right underneath the services. Um, so a uh, image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called Tandor DB. And uh, like I said up there, this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. And then the volumes down here. So on the left side is the host. And on the right side is the container. And then environment variables. These environment variables should rhyme with these up here. Because this service right here, this Tandor service, is connecting to this service. And then it's storing all the data in this service. So um, now the restart policy is on the stop so that means if you stop it for any reason it will not try to restart but if it fails any other reason then it'll try to restart and then the networks down here so tippy main network and then a health check for the database so 
that's a little bit about the files and run tapey's app store so i wanted to let you know uh, about the big bear club uh, uh uh you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and i very much appreciate it so uh if you'd like to join the big bear club you can go down in the youtube description and uh, go to my ko-fi link and join it from there so let's get back to registered programming so now i'm going to start in my run tippy and i'm going to go to app store right here and then i'm going to search for tandor and then nicey right here so you can click on it and you can see the uh, description and then the base info and then the port so i'm going to install and you can say you want to display this on guest a dashboard or you can expose the app i'm going to say install now what this is doing is it's downloading the docker image off the registry getting extracted getting up with docker compose underneath also setting up the volumes and the network so now we got the ad uh the tandor up and running and you can see it's running um, it's going to take a little bit to uh, uh, migrate all the uh, da database and also uh, create all the static files and generate them all. So uh, we'll wait for that and then uh, we'll come back a little bit later and show you the UI. So I'm going to go over the run tippy UI. So if you go to my apps, you go to Tandor, you can see the actions up here. So you can stop, open into the web UI, uh, go to settings. A display on guest dashboard, expose app, update, reset app. Um, you can also see the description and then the, the base info, which uh, came off the JSON file. Um, so that's a little bit about the run tippy UI. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can open and then go to the IP and port right here. So now you can put a username in. And then you're going to put a password in, and then you're going to confirm the password that you just put in. And um, so now once you do that, uh, you'll say create super user account. Then now you're going to put the same username and password that you signed up with in, and then sign in. So now two options, since this is a brand new Tandor uh uh, space uh, uh, you shouldn't be able to join right now um, but you can create a space right here so I'm gonna create one and then you can open uh, you can import and then you can create so if you, I create right here you can put a recipe name in there we go create a uh, now a name description uh, a image preparation time waiting time servings servings text and then keywords properties right here and then you can click the plus button you can also put steps in this is pr pretty cool and then add another step there we go and then you can delete view save and then sa save and view and um so now if you go over here to the uh, recipes you'll be able to see it right here you can also search and then advanced search you can go at the meal plan right here and you can create a meal plan and then you can auto plan right here and then export and then um, settings so a cosmetic account search and then um, shopping list meal plan and then an API um, you can go into shopping and then you can add a item to the shopping list there we go and then you can also change it Qu quick quick actions a category postpone entries and then unit and then add ignore shopping and then delete all um you can also check mark it off a recipe supermarkets and then um share shopping list you can go into books right here and then add a new cookbook there we go um and then you can also go over here. So keyword, foods, units, supermarket, supermarket category, automations, files, batch edit, uh, history, ingredient editor, export, properties, and unit conversion. You can also go up this uh, plus button right here and import recipe, create. You can also go over here to your user uh, set settings, external recipes, space settings, external connectors, system, admin, admin space, overview, so if you go back to the overview, that's the first page we uh, uh, we can, I can, came to. 
So you can go up to settings and then you can also go to system. Uh, so that's a little about Tandor's UI. So I just went over step by step and showed you uh, how to install Tandor on Run Tippy. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.